What's up guys welcome back to another review video. In this video we'll review Oxygen OS 12 Open Beta 1 which was recently rolled out for OnePlus 9 and 9 Pro. I've been using this build since the day it was rolled out and there are few minor bugs here and there which doesn't allow me to take the full advantage of my OnePlus 9. So here you can see this is my OnePlus 9 which is running on Oxygen OS 12 Open Beta 1. And beta builds always have some of the other issues. It can be a minor or major bugs. When I initially installed Android 12 on my OnePlus 9 over Oxygen OS 11, there were lots of issues which I was facing. Like I was not even able to open the Google application. It used to crash a lot and the same thing goes with Gmail. But after a complete reset, most of the major issues have been solved. So if you guys are facing too many issues on Open Beta 1, then I would request you to perform a factory reset from recovery. And before even I complete the review, I would like to inform you guys that Android 12 isn't that stable to be used as daily driver. Before starting the video, Guys, we have 80% of users who haven't subscribed to our channel. And as you all know, testing a software takes a lot of time. One like to this video and subscribing to our channel will motivate us in making more videos. And let's keep a like target of 300 likes on this video. Day before yesterday, we created a poll asking you guys about the feedback on this Oxygen OS 12 Open Beta 1. And we got approximate 700 votes on the same in that most of the users had reported issues related to performance and battery part. So for me, battery seems to be good enough on Open Beta 1, though I'll show you sats of battery cycles in a while. But when it comes to performance part, yes, there are some glitches here and there. And I've also seen overlapping of UI. Scrolling is also not that great. Sometimes I feel jitters or lags while scrolling the device. And also one thing which I need to address. I saw one comment user had mentioned that we are not able to clear the reasons in single tap. And yes guys, that's a feature of launcher which automatically logs the application depending on the usage pattern. But right now you can see for me, Facebook and Gmail did not get cleared from the recents because this has been blocked as I've been using this application most of the time. You can disable that feature by tapping on these three dots in the recents panel, go to manage and here you have an option of logged and unlocked application. So if you disable the logged application, you'll be able to easily clear all the recents. And as you can see here, now we don't have any recents application in the background. So this is a feature of Android 12, not an bug. And as said, the build is not that stable. And as said, the build is not that stable to be used as daily driver if you're using your OnePlus 9 or 9 Pro as a primary phone. And if you guys have already updated your device, then yesterday I made a video on downgrading to stable version of Oxygen OS. You can find that video in the description below. Another issue which I found it while using OnePlus 9 running Oxygen OS 12 Open Beta 1 is related to Bluetooth. So here, after every 15 to 20 minutes, Bluetooth keeps disconnecting. I've also tried resetting the device, but that did not fix the issue. And after that, if you are a gamer, then you won't be able to use the game tool feature from GameSpace application. And the GameSpace application is also outdated and you won't even able to update to the latest build. Remember one thing, do not try to uninstall the GameSpace application because you cannot install any other version instead of which is present on Open Beta 1. If you have installed by mistakely, do let me know in the comment section below. I'll provide the APK by extracting it from my device because that happened with me and I had to ask the GameSpace application though it is not functional right now and as you can see here if I tap on the settings the application gets crashed. After that most of the time I've also been facing issues related to the Google feed. This doesn't get refreshed most of the time. Sometimes I've also faced issues in editing photos in the gallery application though it doesn't happen always but most of the times whenever I try to edit any photo the application gets crashed. As said, it doesn't happen always. But yes, I have faced issues with the gallery application while editing photos. There are also some issues with the notifications. Most of the time, you won't even get to see the notification in the status bar. You need to swipe down to check out the notification. So this is another issue related to notification. And there's another issue with the status bar and that is the status bar completely disappears now and then. I'm not sure exactly what's the issue. But if you guys have been facing these issues which I have been mentioning in the video, then do let me know in the comment section below. Few users also reported that parallel apps features is not working, but I have tried out parallel app on my WhatsApp application and Facebook application. And I don't find any kind of issues using these applications as a parallel app or an additional app. So for me, parallel app feature seems to be working fine. So these are the few minor issues which I have been facing on my OnePlus 9 series running Oxygen OS 12 Open Beta 1. And if I find anything else, 
I'll update you guys in the comment section. And now let's talk about the performance. As you all know, I do gaming on my OnePlus 9 device and that's my primary gaming device. And I've been facing lots of difficulties with the notification and the status bar dropping down while gaming. As I do gaming with gyroscope and due to broken game space application, I've been facing a tough time while gaming on OnePlus 9 Pro. Though while playing game, you won't find much of frame drops, but yes, slight heating issues can be observed. But that's not too much and it doesn't affect the performance of the device. With 60 FPS, no issues with the gaming part. Now talking about the battery backup, I've been getting decent battery backup on my OnePlus 9 running Oxygen OS 12 Open Beta 1. And here are the battery sats. These are two battery cycles. On the day 1, I got 4 hours and 45 minutes of screen on time with 19% of battery remaining. But that was the first cycle and after that, battery backup was pretty good. I got 4 hours and 57 minutes of screen on time with 20% of battery remaining. In that, I had done 30% of gaming. So I personally don't have any kind of issues related to battery backup on Android 12 for my OnePlus 9. You guys drop a comment along with your screen on time and let's see how is the battery backup of your device. And now last but not the least, let's also talk about the camera performance. And guys, remember one thing, camera is not that great right now because Oxygen OS Android 12 build is still in beta phase. But there are few new additions done to the camera application. I'll show you a few samples which I clicked using my OnePlus 9 after updating the device to Android 12 Open Beta 1. And we have been requesting one feature from OnePlus from a long time. And that's addition of external mic support in video recording. But that's not yet been supported on Android 12 too. So let's wait and watch if OnePlus gonna add this feature of external mic support in video recording on their stock camera application or not. And here OnePlus have added this new feature for portrait mode in which you can set the aperture of portrait photos from f0.95 to max f16 and by using different aperture for portrait mode depth effect seems to be really great okay so these are the samples no doubt camera seems to be doing a good job but the only issue what i have been noticing and this issue was also present on oxygen os 11 you can see the color difference in all the three lenses with wide angle we get more accurate colors and good dynamic range and no doubt 1x zoom also does a great job but when it comes to 2x zoom, you can see lots of overexposure and the color shifting is way high. And I think here OnePlus needs to improve a lot. And while clicking pictures with front camera in portrait mode, you can see the centered picture wherein device overexposed the picture. I don't see post-processing after clicking the picture. So I think yes, in upcoming updates, OnePlus will do all the fixes and camera quality will be improved. And these three photos were clicked with the main camera in portrait mode. And in all these three photos, aperture was set to minimum, which could provide us better depth effect. Edge detection and depth effect seems to be pretty good enough. Also no issues here clicking pictures in portrait mode of animals. And these are the side by side samples clicked in low light with normal mode and nightscape mode. Still, I could see a little bit of noise in the photos clicked in nightscape mode. As said, the software is in early stages, so optimization will improve slowly. And at last, these are the photos clicked with tripod mode along with starburst mode turned on. On a serious note, I'm not that impressed because I have used Google Pixel device and that takes more better photo in nightscape mode or you can call it as astrophotography mode. So overall, I don't have much of complaints about the camera. And I know these things will be improved in the future updates. So guys, this was a review on Oxygen OS 12 Open Beta 1 for OnePlus 9 and 9 Pro. If I missed out anything or if you guys are facing any bug which I haven't mentioned in the video, then do let me know in the comment section below. As of now, only this much in this video. I hope you guys like the video. If you like the video, then do give me a thumbs up. Also, if you are new to our channel, then do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.